Rose, I may be starting to like you. Now, I don't want you thinking your pal Rose is going soft on you, so let me just say this. If you ever get it in your head to screw me over, I will gut you with this here saw and string your entrails up like Christmas tinsel. Nothing personal. Watched you kill David through the viewfinder. <sighs> so that's a thing that happened. Hey, I'm hoping that by now you've got everything we need. Hurry back so we can bust that cash wide open and see what's inside. No one's been inside since before they made me, so I've been dying to see all the great crap they've kept hidden for all these years. Don't keep me waiting. was. You got those key fragments for me? I know, right? Murder, betrayal, all your basic psychopathic food groups. I'll take those for safekeeping. There's just one more little thing. David, he had a mistress named Rosalind. She wound up doing something stupid out of love for the man. Tried to lead a raid on Charleston on Christmas Eve so she could bring him back something nice. Got herself killed in the process. Sheesh, manners. And, well, maybe. I mean, Rosalind's death was kind of a big deal around here. And we never were able to recover the body. I would have gone to do this myself, but, well, it's personal. Now, in order to create the cash master key from those passwords you got, I need the holotape program she had with her when she died. You might have to look through the town's records to find out where they buried her body. I'd start with the Capitol building. Meet me at the cache in the basement of the ski lodge when you've got that holotape.
Okay, I see you made it into the city. But there's something you should know, if it isn't already painfully obvious. Charleston got flooded in a bad way. When David learned they killed Rosalind, he took the many nicks we'd stolen from the Brotherhood of Steel and rigged them to blow up the dam. Damn near wiped the entire city off the map. Last I checked, the Capitol building is still standing. If any place was gonna have records of any of this, it'd be there. Here's hoping you don't have to dig up half the town to find what you're looking for.
I was gonna cheat you. <laughs> I don't need a program to decrypt the key fragments. I'm a freaking robot. I just wanted you out of the way so I could get first dibs of the loot. At least I'm honest about it. Right. Thing is, I couldn't go through with it. Either you've made me a better person, or there's some old remnant of Miss Nanny firing up and making me care about people. It's all worthless pre-war junk anyway. You can have as much of it as you want. There might be some good loot, but that bucket of Bolt's bellhop down there won't cough it up without a claim ticket. Good luck finding one of those. I couldn't even shake it out of him. And believe me, I tried. It's all yours if you can figure something out. All right, so there you go. That's it. <laughs> Don't get all teary-eyed. I'm sure we'll do business together again soon. Until then, toodles. Oh, and before I forget, that uplink or whatever you were looking for is also in the cache. Hooray, you got it, I know you. Now don't go forgetting about me just because you got what you came for. I will find you.
that uplink thing you were looking for? Yeah, it got a little banged up when we shoved it through the storage system. You'll probably need to bring it to someone in the free states who can fix it. <laughs> Joke's on you. They're as dead as everyone else out there. <laughs> you know, at least one or two of them defected to us when they got sick of living underground. They talked what about this real I smart gal named Abby. Tech you. Smart, you know? I bet you can find something down in her bunker that'll help you fix that doodad. It's in the mire. I can point you in the right direction. Now, go on and scram. Maybe you'll actually be able to get rid of these scorched things. Then, bing, bang, boom, couple hundred years pass, you vault people have a couple of kids, they have a couple of kids, etc. Next thing you know, we got more raiders and more people to prey on. Perfecto! Sounds like you've got your work cut out for you. But until then, I'll just be messing with the radio. <laughs> Don't you forget about me up here. I'm always around if you get bored. <laughs> Later, alligator. <laughs>